Hello everyone, this is Lori Anderson, host for Resurrect the Republic, RTR Truth Radio Broadcast on RBN and contributor for FreedomOutPost.com and I would like to share with you our tribute to fallen Marine Larry Lindsay on last night's broadcast of December the 19th. As I don't know if you remember this gentleman, but there was a United States Marine Dr. Lindsay made headlines earlier this year when he burned his Republican registration. He was calling out the GOP for their corruption and 100% supporting Trump. Sadly, this Marine, this American patriot, Dr. Larry Lindsay, he recorded a video message just shortly before he passed away. Mr. Lindsay passed away on December the 17th in the arms of his wife, Natasha. He passed away peacefully at 10.45 p.m. on his birthday. So if we could, Mike, may we please share and spread his last message, his message that he sent to Donald Trump, Vice President Pence, and to Mad Dog Mattis, as well as every other American citizen. Please, if you would, play LV4. President Trump, Vice President Pence, and General Mattis, I would like to say that the greatest honor of my life has been to wage this battle with you. I have been prouder of being a Marine than anything I have ever done in my life. Having a hand in some small way in fighting for my country has meant the world to me. There is no greater honor for me to have great men like you leading this country back to its foundation and back to God. President Trump, I have no doubt in my heart and in my mind that you will be perhaps the greatest president in the history of our country. Vice President Pence, I am so honored to call you my vice president. You're an incredibly good man and probably the only vice president in 
150 years to have any brains. And I appreciate that about you. Your candor and your honesty from both of you men is, is much needed in this day and time. General Mattis, sir, it appears that I am now out of ammunition, but I continue to fight with my last breath. I do not fear death. because I know where I'm going, and I'm only going home for a rest. It's you people here, the good people of America, for whom I cry, my loved ones and my friends, and the sacrifices they must continue to make in this fight to restore our country. Dying is the easy part. Dying is the comforting part. If you know who your God is, and you know that he holds your hand, and I do, I praise God for a wonderful life, so many wonderful blessings that I have known, and so many wonderfully kind and loving people in this country whom I have met during my fight for this country. I want you to know, each and every one of you, that we have taken on a challenge that has only just begun. The real battle lies ahead. And General Mattis, I have one request, sir, and that is give them hell. And simplify. God bless. Mike, if you would. A Marine who no doubt is now watching down from us from heaven and is still guarding the wall as a watchdog. Would you please, in respect and honor, play tribute to this Marine who stayed loyal to his last breath? Oh, oh, oh. 
Dankeschön. Semper Fidelis, Marine. Semper Fidelis. And thank you for your service. <laughs>